Hi everyone, my name is Timothy Failey and I'm an audio engineer. I've been mixing for about 15 years now and I'm starting to put together some videos of stuff I've learned over the years just in case it might be of value to anyone out there. All right, Logic Pro's channel EQ versus linear phase EQ. On Logic's website, they have a nice description comparing the two. I'll paste that in the video info section below. And for this demonstration, I have a kick drum track pulled up. So let's listen to this with no EQ applied yet. Next, I've attached a channel EQ and linear phase EQ, both with identical uh, EQ going. So what I did was a, an, ex, an extreme boost of 24 decibels at 65 hertz with a Q of one. And I've copy and pasted that to both EQs. So let's close those. And now let's listen with just the channel EQ applied. The volume peaks at negative 1.4 decibels. Now let's listen to the linear phase EQ. The volume peaks at negative 1.2 decibels. So they are definitely EQing in different ways. Um, to my ears, the linear phase EQ sounds a bit more tighter and in control, and the channel EQ seems to be adding some color and um, seems a little bit more thunderous or boomy um, in this example. Um, so yeah, I personally like to reserve the linear phase EQ for um, things that I want tight and down the center, such as kick drum, snare drum, bass guitar, um, and I like to use linear phase EQ while mastering too. Um, so yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching. I hope this has been helpful.